I've just seen this epic looking body shell. Check this out. So all we need now is a car to put it on. I know, oh. I know, I know. What you got, what you got, what you got? Look at that Nissan Skyline R34, the new FTX Super Forza. GT. Six. GT. Ooh, that's quite Mustang-esque. It's a bit, isn't it? So will that. And... What do you reckon, is it gonna fit? I reckon it will, you know. So just like the infraction, we've got a 6S motor and speed controller. We've got a handbrake module. It's four-wheel drive, double wishbone suspension, front and rear with coilover shocks. Hopefully, it's going to rip. Underneath, check out this diffusion. And Jason just has an idea. What you got? I've got a little red light. So you plug in that into the LiPo. Yep. Red lightage. Red lightage in there. So we've got a balance lead connector on the lightage. So all we've got to do is plug that into a balance lead to the lipo and we got lightage. Him glued in there. So we go all in and boom. So if any of you guys want to check one of these out, then head over to Redfin Models. Here's the location. And then you can meet all these lovely crew in here. So now let's fit and paint the body and then take it out for a rip. So that looks like it should fit. So this body is supposed to be for an infraction, really. So if you look on the back look, it's got a couple of dimples on the body to mark out the body post, which is perfect for the FTX. However, on the front, they're a little bit off, no big deal. But the bigger deal is, though, is that these body posts are not adjustable. We need to make them go down. Rear ones, we can adjust. Front ones, not. So we're going to have to improvise. <laughs> is fitting pretty good. Boom! So the rear tires on this are actually wider than the front and they're a little bit too wide for the body. They're gonna end up rubbing. But I've got these hoons here. What are my infraction? That's better. I think these hoons even look nicer than the original ones too. What do you reckon? So next up, we're going to paint the body. So first of all, we're going to degrease it. Next, we're going to apply the window masks. Then we're going to key up the surface so the paint's got somewhere to stick to. And then we're going to paint it red and then back it with some white. After that, we're going to peel off all the window masks and give the windows a nice tint. And to finish it off, we're going to paint the wing black. I'm going to be running it on these Onyx LiPos. I've been using Onyx in that speed car there. They got a ton of power. So these in here should be perfect. So controller on, plug the batteries in, car on. Success, baby. Now that is on the stock gearing, which is more for car park bashing. Also comes with a high speed pinion. So we'll take it out for a burn in a minute. But first, let's get the body finished. Next, we've got to fit the stickers. I think it needs the same livery as the monster truck. Hello? Can you make me some stickers for my RC car? I can't even get you. Yes. Thanks, mate. Bye. And just like that, stickers have turned up. I get quite a few comments with some of you guys saying you want stickers. So I'm going to put a link down below where you can get some stickers from and other merch as well. Oh, check it out. So I've set up a competition where one of you viewers can win this car. I want to give you more details about that later. I'll just click in the link in the description box. Let's get those Onyx Lipos back in there. It's handling pretty good, but the steering is really slow. Look how slow that is. 
but no big deal. I've got a perfect pass servo here for rest shiftering. So this servo has 56 kilos of torque. It's all metal cased, all metal gears, really fast. If you want to know where you can get it from, and also the batteries, the car, and everything else in this video, I'm going to put a link to all of that down below. So out with a crappy stock servo and in with a perfect pass. Here we are on location, got Max and Andy in the house. They've got their tyres, what have you got Max? I've got an infraction with the GTR body I guess. Ah, same body as mine. What's Andy got? Felony with the protocol Corvette shell. It is nice, keep them away from Max otherwise it won't stay looking nice. This one, we're going to keep it perfect. <laughs> Here we go. Ready, steady, go. Oh, dude! Man! The minute Max gets involved, game over. Oh, what's going on here? Pulled the body under. Oh, hold on, that, that'll clip back in. Oh, look at the poor road rat. Right, no more drag racing. Right, let's take your GPS on there and see how fast it goes. Dude! Yeah. There we go, all zeroed off. What we got, we got 52. We're going to put a big opinion on it in a minute and see how fast we can get it to go. But first, let's have a nice little drive while it's still looking nice. So I've got the high speed gearing there. Let's quickly change it over, see how fast it goes. And then we've got all these gears here. So we'll probably make it even faster. So that's the stock pinion. Here's the high speed one. Boom! All zeroed off again. Here we go. That was 58 miles per hour. We can do better than that. So that's the pinion we just took off of it. This one's one going on. Boom! Right, there we go. Back on zero. It's getting quicker. How fast do you not reckon that was? 63, 61, 65, 67. Wow. Look at that. 67 mile an hour. That's nearly at motorway speed limit. Let's go faster. 19 tooth neck. Boom. Still not cutting. That'll go more. So we can keep putting on bigger pinion gears until the speed controller starts cutting out. Then we know that we've reached the limit. 71 mile an hour. Big opinion. Now we can go to 23. That's going. What speed we get? 79 mile an hour. All right, we've got more pinions. We can keep going bigger. Go big or go home. So now we're going to go from the 23 to a, no idea what it is, but it's a bit bigger. Here we go. Will it cut out or will it do it? It's still not cutting. 82 mile an hour. We've got 30, we're putting on here next. So the speed controller just started to cut out there towards the end, so I think we're reaching our limit. I reckon 85. Well, the brakes are non-existent now. It's so overgeared, the brakes don't work anymore. I reckon 85. 86. Let's keep going. <laughs> <laughs> go on then, big opinion. So we're going from a 30 to a 34. I can't see it going much more now. I was cutting out, that's it, that's it, we're done. Stop, stop, that's all brakes on that pinion. 62 mile an hour. So 86 mile an hour, that's not bad. Oh dear. Who had this silly idea? So my idea is, all three of us, all three of the trigger flat out, shut this door, let the whole burn out, smoke the place out. Ready, steady, go. Smoke's pouring out of the window. Look, it's gone now. 
<laughs> what happened? What's the tires looking like? <laughs> oh, right, actually, it's sticky. Oh, it's oh, sticky. Oh, oh my god, look at my tacky. Oh. <laughs> Oh! Oh no, we got a slight little dentage. Car chase! This oh, is so wrong. Don't speak up, Edda. your chance to win this car. I'll set up a competition. I'm going to put a link to all the details down below in the description box. The winner is going to get the car controller, instruction with all the goodies and optional springs and stuff, the stock gearing, and I'm also going to chuck in the high speed gearing, which made this go like 86, whatever it was, mile an hour. But I wouldn't run it with that on there all the time because you're only going to overheat it. Also, you're going to get the original body and the original wheels and tyres. The tyres that are on there have been through a couple of burnouts, but they're not really that bad that's the worst one all the other ones are actually pretty decent tickets are one pound which is just over one dollar and i'll ship this for free worldwide but if there's any import duty then that's on you and don't expect a perfect car because max crashed into it and i crashed into andy the landy but all that does is just gives it a bit of character anyway link in the description box if you want to win this car